gonna run on one more stop with these guys and came through and, and pretty much uh, came in and learned the business and did they all. That was the about, man. You know, Mr. Jerry's always tell me that I saw it. I saw it, I saw it. So, you know, I see it, man, you know. But I wanna see it, but they can see it too as well, you know. A lot of old barbers, man, they didn't give the youngsters no chances or they didn't give them no option such a cut out. You know? I want to give these young barbers more than an option to cut out. I want to give them an option to cut out, be a, a barbershop owner, probably a future school owner, be a instructor, be a platform artist, you know, be an educator, you know, be a product owner. You know, I got connections, starting your own product line and stuff. So, yeah, you know, so. I want to turn them on to more than just just cutting hair, you know. Start your own product line with your label on it, you know. If you want to start your own brush, I got that connect. Start your own brush, you know. Whatever they want to do, I want to help them achieve their goal, you know. So it's way more than barber now, man. It's way more than barber. So that's my mission today to get out there and just show more than just cutting hair, man. You know, I just don't produce barber students. I produce business owners, I produce platform artists, I produce uh, product inventors, and, you know, and I, can, I produce brands, <laughs> not just balls, man, e balls got brands, man, j Race, London Rose, Outlaw, you know. How does it make you feel seeing what you wanted to do, your, your, your heart being spread into others' lives? They'll flourish as well. I mean, how does that make you feel? Man, that make me feel great. That's why I'm out here showing the world what I feel, what I see. Man, you know, I love what I do. I love what I do, man. So it makes me feel good to see other guys produce, perform. You know, it makes me feel good to to see someone else's dream come to pass in this same industry that I'm you know, that I mean, you know, I love that, man. I, I'm not holding nobody back at all, you know. You want to do this, let's do it, you know. Bring me the idea, if I can help you out, you know, I'm going to help you out the best way I can, you know, because you're a product of me, you know. I'm going to be eventually that Mr. Jerry, you know, leaving the legacy behind. And my legacy is going to be not just one barber that did good. I want to leave a legacy behind with plenty of barbers doing good, you know. I'm not saying that no one else did good at Jerry's, but, you know, I want to leave a legacy, man, with a lot of barbers doing great than just cutting half, you know, so, you know, that's why I'm out there doing my thing, man. Well, I do, I, I want to say this, what I observed, you reminded me of those old school teachers, man, that actually gave a damn, actually cared. That's right. They called the parents, checked on the children in school, and... Man, it was it was refreshing to see that you have that type of rapport, and that's what you created. And that I'm very impressed by that. Not that my impression mean anything, but I love I love seeing how they actually care that you care. Oh yeah, oh that that that. What you said mean a lot too, man. You know what I'm saying? Just hearing it, you know, it mean it mean a lot. You know, you know. So it, it lets me know it's just confirmation, man, that I'm doing the right thing when other people see what I'm doing. You know, without me even telling them, hey, look, look, look what I'm doing, you know. So, man, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I got a lot of my ways from Mr. Jerry, them old school ways, man. I got, I've got, i been a lot of, around a lot of old barbers. You know, I used to love hanging around old barbers, you know, because they, they where I wanted to be, you know what I'm saying, in the long run. So, and I try to make sure that I do more, if I could be an example of the younger barbers, for, for they can be like, man, I want to be where boss is at his age or, or even sooner.
You know, I've been cutting hair all my life, you know what I mean? And I met Mr. Sean through a friend. And he watched me cut, you know what I'm saying? He asked me to come to school. I've been a bootlegger all my life, you know? Just I, was, I was a bootlegger. I was a, I was a bad bootlegger. But, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? I came to Sean. He asked me to come to school. Man, the, the, the school is phenomenal. It, it's nice. I mean, it, 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 was a, it was the best best time of my life, man. You know what I'm saying? To go to Boss Man, man. It, I love it, man. And it, it, it's just something I think I never get tired of. I love it, bro. Sean, that's the great, man. That, 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 that's the greatest school. Boss Man Barber has the school to go to, y'all. He's very strong, firm, very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, consistency. What, 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 what? Clean. I mean, I mean, just being clean. I mean, just sanitary. And he's he's very strong by sanitary. Very strong. Hey, how? <laughs> oh yeah, shorts. No shorts. No, no shorts. You see what I got on, y'all? No shorts. In school, no shorts. Professional. Professional. Yes, no shorts. We can no shorts. Well, back in the 1950s and 40s, man, barbers was dressing slacks, suspenders. They was clean. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the greatest feeling you could never have. It's the, y'all yeah, yeah, working for you, having your own shop, coming in, looking at your own shop. You, you come in every day, you know what I'm saying? I still do this, like, now I have my own shop. This is my shop, y'all. This is, this is me. Did I hold you back? No, sir. No, sir. By, not, by no means. He always push. No, 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 sir. By no means. It's still shocking, y'all, like me to have my own shop. It's, it's the greatest feeling in the world, man. It's, it's like you're on top of the world. It, it's it's like you living. I'm living life now. I'm living life. I feel like this. I'm living life. Life can't get any better, man. Working for yourself, building your own brand, coming from a man with the brand, and building your own brand. I'm put it like that. <laughs> yes. I, I never would have. I never would have been introduced to this way of living if it wasn't for, for for these two people in this room and boss man honestly like so it's it's it, it, I, I, i'm I, for, for the first time in my life i love what i do i love what i do and i feel like i have a purpose and then boss man gave me that that's uh, my cousin Brittany, uh co-owner of 2g over there working on some uh some some some, some locks what it looks like she helped out a lot too. She gave me a lot of advice. She told me to keep pushing. Don't be, don't be angry. There, but like, um, you know, there's, there's just a lot of things that even he instilled in us that you know we, we do over here. You know, we catch ourselves telling people, hey, don't say that, or you know, free pants. Yeah, so. You know, the, the type of music that we listen to. You know, we try to make sure that you know there's not any cussing and and you know just. The, the way that you want a business to be ran. So, so you pretty much saying going through the school, doing certain things at the school before you left, working in the shop, doing certain things. You ain't go to the shop and be like, well, I ain't know what you got no trade before, boss. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you did before. I ain't never did before. No. So you actually, so pretty much what I've been preparing you for since day one as a student. It's sticking with it, right? Stick with you. Yes. Right. right, strong, very, very fun. All like, I try to do. I, mean, I have a pet peeve of people sitting out a chair. I have to right. pay for those chairs, you know what I'm saying? Th these chairs making my money. You know what I mean? So, yeah, oh yes. Right. Very firm, yes. Right. Taking the trash out. Taking the trash out, you know what I'm saying? Daily. Yes. Going to take the bathroom two or three times yeah. a day, you know what I'm saying? Getting out of the trash out, you know what I'm saying? Making sanitary. Yes. I do things towards students strategically to get you prepared for the real life of a barber. Some of them catch it, some of them don't. You know, like I tell them all the time, you gonna pass state board, cause I'm talking state board, so you gonna pass state board. But can you survive as a barber? Can you survive as a barber shop owner? When you get to the next level. So, that's the key. That's the key. Y'all are a great product of the business. Y'all keep doing what y'all do. Very proud of y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, you know, you know me, I always be back. Yeah. And you love us. Oh yeah, and I love y'all. <laughs> yeah, we definitely love you. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I'm gonna get up out of here and you know we got a couple more stops. You know. This 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 is a documentary of the product of Boss Man. 
Yeah. All right, man. See you later, baby. Next time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brittany! <laughs> 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 you would have to say it how you how you always said it in school. Brittany! <laughs> <laughs>